I was in the 101st in the U.S. Army from 2000 to 2004. I deployed to Iraq in 2003, February of 2003 to February of 2004. Basically, while I was over there, I realized that all we were doing was that we were, you know, occupying a country for, you know, a profit motive from several corporations. I mean, I was there for the first year and I saw Blackwater, I saw Halliburton and Kellogg Brown and Root, you know, doing our laundry, feeding us when we were supposed to do all that ourselves. Um, so yeah, I'm against the wars. Uh, we're definitely not defending our country. I I've been meeting with a lot of people from like Veterans for Peace and Vietnam era veterans, and they still feel uh, wholly responsible for what's going over and uh, what's continuing to go over in Vietnam nowadays. And they've had decades to try to heal their country. I, I, I feel somewhat responsible for Iraq, and we're still continuing to terrorize that country, but now we're using mercenaries that aren't accountable to US law or Iraq law or any law. We're just paying them to keep them down so that we can still keep pumping the oil out of their wells and give it to the oil corporations. It, it's disgusting what we're doing over there and it's a farce that the US media thinks that we're done with that country. Um, what is your message to President Obama today? If, if you could um, send one to him directly, what would it be? Uh, if you're really a, pe a president who's for peace, stop killing people I mean stop using drones to bomb and then bomb the emergency responders over in foreign countries stop using drones to surveillance us over here repel the NDAA free Bradley Manning and stop the persecution of whistleblowers there's a lot you can do for the peace movement but you're just continuing to propagate the foreign policies of the last presidency and the neoconservative agenda